Michael Babb here. Just got done putting my DeLorean back together and it's just had a nice bath here to see you time to do a little bit of a video walkthrough. This has been 1141. It's an April 1981 DeLorean. So it, uh, originally it was a black interior with the darker wheels. I've replaced the center caps with the black caps since the, the gray ones were, were fading. Uh, I've also done some custom pinstriping on the side kind of mimic the one that was available from the factory with my own little, little twist on it. Just do a, a quick walk through. You know, when I got it, it had some massive problems with the struts in the hood. The strut over on that side where it mounted to the hood was actually uh, completely busted out. So I had to cut holes in the, uh, the tub of the hood, basically put a bunch of uh, fiberglass on there drill everything out, you know, put in new rib nuts and so forth, but I uh, actually finally got that working again, and now the, the struts actually work and, and hold the, the hood the way it's supposed to. Uh, it is an early car, so it does have the gas flap hood. Uh, I have had the faces repainted, try to get where I can get a, a good view in the sun. Uh, they're close to stock, but actually went with one that has a bit of uh, metal fleck in there, a little bit more than what you'd see stock, so it, uh, I think it shines up really nicely. We've gone through and updated the, the headlights. Just had a bath, they're a little little crusty, but uh, it's got updated LED headlights from DeLorean Parts Northwest. Everything else around the car has had LED conversions done to it except for the side marker lights. So if you actually look at the door lights, these are from Tom in Poland. So you can see it's actually a, a quad light setup versus the standard you know single cluster of leds they work very very nicely uh, tom also made an ultraviolet set for me that i usually put on for halloween and fun things like that uh, just to show you what the side stripe looks like on the car i took the, the wide black side stripe kind of kept the, the theme of it with multiple lines and then kind of the racing switch to the end and then added delorean lettering in purple there's a lot of purple accents that have have placed on the car. Um, just as a joke, because of uh, the election last year, I actually printed up some election bumper stickers, a little bit more in line with the, the era of the car. I've got the uh, 1.21 gigawatt sticker from the haulers from their book. Uh, it, if I go inside, you can see the, the purple on the steering wheel. Again, it was originally a gray, sorry, uh, originally a black interior car. And I finally finished, I think I'm finished, doing a two-tone conversion on it. So I've got the Warren Motor Company Houston two-tone seats. And then I've taken most of the interior and actually done uh, gray dash, but all of the, the knee cushions are actually gray. And I'll close the store go around the other side. And, um, modified the door cards so they actually have gray and black on them as well as a little bit of the same purple accent that I had on the side stripe to kind of tie the interior next year together. Again the center of the steering wheel has been dyed with uh, marine vinyl dye and then I've got a tuned in radio so I actually redirected the AC air vents into the, the knee pads and then actually have uh, DMC bought items that will actually block that off. I've got the, uh, the DMC letters on the sill plate. I actually have a uh, Customs Colts installed cat which unfortunately likes to walk around on my car. Uh, along with the radio I did a, an aftermarket amp and speaker setup. So I actually took the rear wall, moved it out a few inches, and used shallow depth subs to actually get a little more base into the back of the car. You can see the, uh, the two-tone seats. I just I love the detail on these. The gray area is actually perforated, and just nice stitching and accenting on those. Let's see what else. Something uh, a little interesting about this car is, you know, I don't know exactly all of its history, but... If you look at the VIN plate, it has a, you can see it's State of Alaska VIN plate as opposed to a standard VIN plate. And when you go to the door, where the, uh, the door plate would be, there's nothing there as well. So I'm not sure if this car was a recovery. Uh, there's a thought that it may have been a, a factory car or a trainer from the Lori Motor Company. Uh, you know, maybe not ever really know exactly what the, the history of the car was. Moving on to 
the, the back, again, the spacious have all been repainted. Just got done having the entire AC system service and replaced. It had some engine upgrades done by Bob Steger.